my name is Marielle from Aqua Mermaid and today I will share with you 10 things you need to know before buying a silicone mermaid tail. Number one, it's a piece of art. Each silicone mermaid tail is made by hand by designers, artisans, and they create exactly what you want. Then you can choose the design, the shape, the colors, the painting, everything is chosen and each tail is unique. Number two, it takes a long time to get your tail because, as I said, it's made by hand, by designers, and everything is different for each tail. And also, there's no manufacturing chain. Uh, it's really one by one. In average, it takes about one year to get your tail, and it can go up to two years. Then if you take your decision to buy a mermaid tail, know in advance that you won't get it before one year. The fastest I've seen is about two months but this you need to pay extra you pay for a, a rush order um, sometimes you can have a lower quality less painting uh, but this is really something you need to take into account when you want to order your tail number three be careful about the sizing the producer of the mermaid tail will ask you tons of measurements around your waist around your knees your hips your ankles and make sure to measure it twice because silicone is stretchable but you want it to be perfectly fit to your body to be really easy to swim and it will be custom made for your body you can share it with friends but make sure they are around your size because you don't want to break it let's talk about the different types of silicone mermaid tail there are the full silicone mermaid tail and there's the hybrid silicone tail the hybrid silicone tail is made half of silicone for the fluke and the other half on top of the legs is made out of neoprene and sometimes it's covered of sequins or also a nice print. Depending what you're looking for, uh, the hybrid tail is a good choice because it's cheaper but also it's much faster because they are on standard size. You can get like a small, medium or large. The only thing I would suggest to check if if you're tall like me I'm five foot nine uh, sometimes the standard size are a bit short then make sure to ask the manufacturer how long is the tail and that should be good also if you're planning to share this tail with someone else I would recommend to go with more a hybrid tail the neoprene is much more stretchable around the waist this way you can share with someone else uh, share the cost and share the mermaid tail that can be a good way for you Number four, silicone mermaid tails are swimmable. And this is really important. Silicone tails are beautiful to take photos, but you can swim also with them. And something really important about that is that there is a monofin inside the, the, the silicone tail. This is a big, like, flippers, mainly a big flipper, that you, your two feet are attached together. Depending on where you want to swim, you need to choose the proper monofin to go inside. You need to check about the size and about the rigidity. The bigger it is and the stiffer it is, the more power you get. Then you can go in the ocean, you can go in lakes where there's current. If you're just planning to stay in a pool or just take photos, you can go with the smaller, more flexible monofin. In number five, let's talk about the material. Silicone mermaid tails are generally done with dragon skin silicone. It's a silicone that is stretchable, it's, it's dry, cold, and also it's safe for the skin. Then it's a really good material and you can do, di do different layers to extend the stretchability. You can also mix different color uh, to give a good, nice pigment into the material. What you need to know, uh, this material is neutrally buoyant. That means it helps to float. Also, some silicone tail have a layer inside of neoprene. If you have neoprene inside your tail, it will make you float. Then according to what you want to do, if you want to do a lot of deep dive, make sure to take a silicone without neoprene or you will need some weight to help you uh, dive uh, deeper in the water and just stay underwater. Also, the si silicone is not a breathable material. When you put this on, you start to sweat because there is no air that passes through. Um, then really make sure to bring a little towel on the side with you. Uh, it's really good if you go in cold water because it has the wetsuit effect. Mainly the water will go in your tail and stay stuck there and your body will warm, uh, warm up the little the water that is around your body and keep it warm. And that's really good for people who live in North Country like me in Canada 
Something you need to think about is the color of your mermaid tail. What you need to know is that you can put color inside the silicone in itself. And that's the best way to get a nice color and it won't go anywhere because the pigment is inside the silicone. However, you cannot do a lot of details with just mixing a pigment. You can do a gradient of different uh, tones, uh, go from a darker green to go to a lighter green, something like that, or change color a little bit. But if you want a lot of details, it will need to be, with, uh, to be done with an airbrush paint. And th this takes a lot of time, and it's expensive, and you need the talent to do it, for sure. Then if you're thinking about a lot of design of different lines and the little dots like uh, to look more natural it will cost uh, more money and it will be longer to get. Something important to know is that if you add hairbrush paint on top of the silicone sometimes it will start to to fall or flake on top of your tail because the, the paint is really on top of uh, the material and it's not inside. Uh, then that's something to take into account when you go in the water uh, and when you sit on the edge of rocks or different things uh, make sure to put the towel to protect your tail as much as possible because you want to keep the nice painting job also something uh, you can ask as addition you can ask uh, your designer to put sparkles lines iridescent uh, pigment this is when you look from different angle and the sun it changed color and that's a really cool, cool feature uh, to add into a tail Let's talk about price. Silicone tail are really expensive and this is something you should think twice about buying it. Uh, first, the full silicone tail will range between $3,000 and $8,000 USD, uh, according if you want some upgrade, if you want different fi fin addition, then you can add like uh, pec fin, heels feel, calf, uh, a dorsal fin, uh, all those different fins that you can add. Also, what will affect the price will be if you want extra painting, uh, individual scale painting details, if you want hairbrush or you just want a gradient within the silicone. Um, if you have a little bit a smaller budget but you still want the professional look of a silicone tail, you should go with the hybrid tail. Those are much faster to get. Uh, they are made on standard size and they can range between $800 and $3,000. Then that's a bit more affordable, it's faster and uh, you can try it and if you really like it, you can move to a full silicone mermaid tail for your next tail. Some other thing you need to consider into your budget is that if you want the top that goes with it, the bustier. This is something I feel you should go with because it makes a really full, complete look and you already invested that so much money into this tail. Uh, go ahead and buy the top. Um, you can buy the top that your own designer made uh, with the tail because it, they will match the color or there's other tail maker uh, that also make a sea star pop or seashell and beautiful design uh, that are worth it. Normally they will cost around between $200 and $400. Also you can have other accessories, you can have bracelet with different scales or some people make jewelry, headband to hold your hair. Uh, take into account all of those different accessories because if you invest that much into a tail you want it to look perfect. Then I would recommend it to do a list of things you want, make a little design, draw it, uh, to give as many details to the designer as possible because it's really hard to imagine what someone else wants and it needs to be perfect and give as many details as you can to someone to create the tail of your dream. Thank you for watching. I hope now you're ready to buy your mermaid tail. Let me know if I forgot something, if you have any more questions. If you want to see my review of my aqua mermaid tail, you can find it down below. And I wish you a ton of fun swimming with those beautiful pieces of art. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one.